Welcome back to a long walk off a of short pier. Oh no! Okay. I'm good. It's fine. I forgot. I can't drown. Or can I? Wait. No, I'm thinking of Genshin Impact. I mean, uh, Genshin. Gen Gen yeah, Genshin Impact. People kept pronouncing that way. It was confusing me. No, it's, it's the other way. Definitely. What's this? Nope. Stop. Okay. Nope. Cut it out. This way. Oh, oh the racers again. I nope, not that's not possible. <laughs> uh, I've got enough sea cells, but what's over here? Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> Electrocuted. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, that was a sub sudden loud noise. Now I have more than enough she cells. What's over here? What's this uh deal with this the deal with this branch? Ah No <laughs> Alright, I'm good. It's raining over here. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Oh I did Pop something there. Wait. Uh, maybe I can jump up here. Oh, definitely not. No. This is the 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 control. Now that I think about it, the controls here are actually. I guess it's just stamina. That's the thing. I was gonna say it's actually somewhat similar to Genshin Impact. It's just uh, stamina. That's all it is. Why do I need all these picks? No, oh, give me um, yeah. Oh, okay. And does that lead out to the other? Oh, it's not from the top of the mountain. It's from here. Where is here? I still feel, I feel like it's raining here. Those are electrical lines. I could definitely get electrocuted here. How do I know if I've caught in all the fish or whatever? Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, wait. First of all, this... No? I guess this is just for shortcuts. That's all that's for. Oh, I only have two left. Oh, that's interesting. Let me equip this, though. I feel like there's something here. Ah ha! I was right. Okay, I like how this game like leads you to make these conclusions in a nice way. Makes you feel smart. Makes me feel smart. What's this? Brick walls. To oh, it's a spooky cemetery. <laughs> Run away. Oh, it's more! Chewary! Let's see. Oh, what? Did I. Did. <gasps> no! <laughs> No! <laughs> That's not good! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! I was, I, thought, I, was just, I was just joking around! No! What am I doing? Oh no! Let me bring those back home to Auntie Hannibal. <laughs> Oh no, that's awful. How, how dark. I'm literally like digging up the bones of dead people here. I, that's that's so unlike what I would expect from this game. There's still just here on the ground. 
They're gonna be there forever now. Let me let me bury them, please. Let me put them back. Oh no! <laughs> I'm hitting my shovel on the bones I just desecrated. Oh, what's going on down here? Stick. Hello. What's going on? Oh, I know them. Hey, Julie. Uh, Julie gets on. Julie, Julie will sound like. Hi. How's it like going? We're gonna play games with me. Games all day. Sounds fun. Okay. Oh, who's this? Hey. Looks like you got the net set up. Are you two gonna play volleyball? Uh huh. <gasps> Oh, that's a, the stick and the ball. Oh, it's actually it's got that come the 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 what I was excited about earlier is coming back as a game. That's cool. What volleyball? Nah, we invented our own game. I think it's pretty gonna be the next big thing. All right, Clarice. What? I formally challenge you to a game of beach stickball. Ooh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yay! <laughs> so, how do you play? Step over the other side of the court, and I'll teach you everything I know. Okay. Wait. Bam, bam. Getting some practice in. Alright. So, beach stick ball has only three simple rules. Rule number one. Hit the ball with your stick. Oh, no. No. You get the ball. Is ah! No. <laughs> yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two. Don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie is the ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three. Believe in yourself. <laughs> That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? I, I guess so. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, the ball reappeared. Oh, dang it. Oops, did I lose? Nope! You can never lose! When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins! Uh, except if you pop the ball, then I guess you lose. There's a lot of I guesses in this game, I can't screenshot them all <laughs> for Ted's, um, I guess, posting channel. Otherwise, maybe I'll just clip that and put it in the channel. Beach stick ball is a purely Co-op game. You mean oh a coop game? You mean co-op game? Yeah, a coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we can get ten points, I'll give you a prize. Alright. <laughs> like I would put my head down there. So uh oh I see. Okay, ready to go! Oh my god, I suck at this. Okay, here we go! Oh! <laughs> I just stand in place. Oh! Nope. Alright, that one counted somehow. Oh. I, I counted six hits! But I counted seven! The serve doesn't count. What? It totally counts! What do you think, Clarice? Sure, you know what? It counts, whatever. Ah, oh, come on. Wait, I thought it, I said it counted. I meant to say it counted. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not with Julie on this one. What are we gonna do? Oh. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, he's fine. He's excited. No, I'm with Julie on this one. Yeah. Fine, fine. Again, again. Okay, let's do this. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Ah! I can't afford it. This is a good start. Okay, 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 go! I'm gonna go over the high score! This is really fun. Ah! I hate when it goes, like, past me. I can't afford hits! That's a good start! Alright. Time to duel! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it disappeared. I gotta, like, walk around so that... If it does go back... I like how if I pretty much hit it at all, it goes over. Like, I don't have to worry about hitting it in the wrong direction. Because otherwise, it's like really hard to hit it in the right place. Ten hits, really? I don't think that's true. Yes! We did it! As promised- Oh, I was trying to get ten hits. I forgot about that. I got a prize for you! Take this! Yes! Golden Feather! You're really good! With your skill, we might even be able to make it to twenty! But that would still be pretty hard. I can do twenty. Let's do it! Okay, ready to go! 20 hits! Oh, that was a short one. Alright. I guess that was 10 before. It didn't seem like it was. But... Oh, that's 6? I can do 20. I can do 20. I wonder if they try to push the ball into the water so that it's gone by the time it reappears. No! I thought it would be closer. I can do it. I can do it. Huh? I like how forgiving this is. Anything that should that should be like maybe too difficult in this game for me ends up like is pretty forgiving in like a nice way. In a way it's relaxing and not less like, oh this is a baby game. <laughs> I love it. Really good. Oh! Oh it gets harder, doesn't it? Does it? I don't know. We can do it! Oh! No, no, no! Okay! I can use all arrow keys. No! How many was that? Oh, 18! We're so close. We can do it. You're doing great! Well, you're a lot better. You never dropped the ball. True. <laughs> okay. True, true. Let's go. Alright. Oh! That's just four. Okay, where is that? You know what would be fun? Oh, maybe we should play. There should there should be like a multiplayer mod for this, just to just so that you can do like the, the little things like this together, or I don't know. Maybe just open. Maybe just open it up to kind of like community modded stuff, and you can mod in multiplayer and things like that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this game, like the base for this game. The graphics and controls engine and all that stuff is. I feel like it's a. a I don't know. It's a good base for a, a lot of creative things. People could make their own little mountains and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. Or you could just make a short hike too and make that multiplayer. <laughs> I can do it. I'm focusing now. Oh. You gotta be quicker than that. 16. Oh, I can do it. Come on, I'm so close. I might have to do it between episodes if I, if I keep messing up. Did I just say missing it or messing up? Which, 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 what thing did I just say? <laughs> Nobody knows. Not even me! That wasn't, that was not a thing. That was 10. That's not solid. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> Three. False start. Oh! Mm, Alright. Let's go. I'm chewing my tongue in concentration. As long as they don't chew my lip. Since I already bit it open the other day. Not on purpose. I was eating a mediocre chicken sandwich from Steak and Shake. 
I ordered a chicken sandwich from Steak and Shake. Whoa! On DoorDash recently. Because I was like, why not? Get something new. Get Steak and Shake. And their burgers are just okay. I don't really like to get stuff on burgers that much. Other than ketchup, so... Burger's not usually a good option for me. Because I don't really like the toppings. Cheeseburgers, they don't really... I've said this before. They don't really taste like cheese to me very much. Or they, I don't know. I don't like the cheese that's on cheeseburgers. I'm not doing very good. So... So I got a chicken sandwich. Where's the... <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, the Popeye's chicken sandwich is pretty good. I was like, maybe the let's see, let's see what Steak and Shake has to offer. And it's different. They got like this herb mayo or whatever, which is like whatever. It's got uh, lettuce pickles on it. I, I ordered it. No pickles. You most most restaurants on DoorDash are way less customizable than if you'd go in person. I'm just keep getting worse and worse. Maybe I need to not talk to concentrate. Mm, mm -mm. But uh, Steak and Shake had a lot of options. You could, I, I always want to get no ice in my drink. And luckily I was able to do that. Most places it's like, nope, sorry, can't customize. Can't customize that. Can't, can't say no pickles on the sandwich. Can't say no ice in the drink. Steak and Shake, you could. But... They did give me no ice in the drink, but they also forgot to, they, they still added pickles, even though it said on the order. So I didn't end up eating that. I mean, you can't just take the pickles off. It's pickles, you know, it, 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 the flavor lingers. They're really flavorful. Oh, what? That counted. Um, so when I went to see The Father the other day at Avon Cinema, there's a steak and shake across the street. I went to, I saw the father, then I went to, I, uh, which is, oh, which is an alright movie. Um, well, I'm not, alright, I'm not gonna get into that movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna start talking about that. I'm just gonna focus on the steak and shake aspect. Um, yeah, the sandwich was just whatever, and, uh, because I couldn't eat in the restaurant, because that those those things are still closed off in all restaurants. The the dining in options are still all closed off. Can I hit it so that he doesn't hit it? Is that like possible? Oh, okay. Oh, that counts. Come on. Maybe I can't do this. Like I might have to do this off camera. Um. And it was raining that, oh, whatever. It was raining that day. I had to find like this tent down the street. I keep, I'm just keep getting worse. And uh, they didn't give me ketchup. So I'd eat most of the fries without ketchup. And then, uh, then when I was done eating the chicken sandwich, I bit my lip open while listening to it. I mean, well, I was listening to Benjamin Davis. And I was eating the sandwich. And I bit my lip open. And it didn't taste that good. And it tasted even worse because uh, I had COVID a few months ago, and it's affected my sense of taste, and it's made a few some things taste weird. Like my favorite juice right here, orange peach mango juice, tastes kind of weird now, as well as many other things. So it tasted kind of weird because of that. Also, maybe because I, I bit my lip open. <laughs> so maybe that. I don't know. I'm not gonna get too graphic. It wasn't that, it was just, it was like, ow, I bit my lip. It was like that. Um. Alright. I'm gonna concentrate. Oh, come on, now? Um. I'm just gonna keep going until I finish the story, which is not really a story. I'm just telling it. I'm just saying I bit my lip open. I bit my lip open in Aleppo, and uh, it was cold. It was windy. It was rainy. I bit my lip open while eating the chicken sandwich. Didn't taste that good. 
Went back to Steak and Shake to get some ketchup for the rest of my fries, which are now cold. Didn't want to walk all the way back to the tent. It was kind of hard to find in the first place, so I ate some of them. They were talking about uh, my cousin Vinny and being today. So that was that was a fun topic. <laughs> so that that aspect of it was cool. Except I was listening to these really cheap headphones I uh, bought at the do at Family Dollar, which should have been like a dollar, but they were five dollars because Family Dollar doesn't actually sell things for a dollar, unlike Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does sell everything for only one dollar. Those headphones would have been only a dollar there, but they were five dollars at Family Dollar, despite the low quality. Anyway, I was listening through those headphones. They were talking about my cousin Vinny and being near Davis. I was eating the french fries off of a trash can, and then I realized this is stupid. I'm standing here eating french fries off a trash can. I would put the, off the, you know, off the side, not in the trash can. I had the ketchup on the lid of the container because they they were like they were like the little packets of ketchup. So I was like squeezing the ketchup out onto the lid. Uh, I used up some of the ketchup. There were still fries left. And I was like, this is not a good way to be eating them. Because it was raining directly on me as well. So I went to like under under a ledge, like at the door of this like college place. Lots of colleges, just college stuff in downtown Providence. So there's this college building and I it went to this like covered ledge uh, outside the door of one and I ate them there. Still using the lid as the ketchup container. Um, I had to be careful because there's holes in the lid for venting, I guess. And steak and shake fries, break, they're like some of the, a lot of the, they're, they taste good and they're, you know, they're like the good crinkle cut fries, but a lot of them are uh, end up being just like little broken pieces of fries, which are not good for dipping in ketchup. Um, so yeah, and then I finished those, and then I went back and watched the documentary, uh, Oscar-nominated documentary shorts film fest film uh, compilation. Slept through all of them because I was on five and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> I got the gist though; they were all boring. Just the, just the truth. I got the gist. Okay, okay. Well, alright, whatever. I can't do it. Whatever. Next time on a short hike. More, more uh, chicken sandwich stories, probably. I don't know. Whatever. Bye. Misleading.